Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD14-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share a single HDMI media stream from a device like a DVD player or a game console or really any product with an HDMI output with four remote locations up to 230 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable to each of those locations. The product fully supports 4K media content and it's both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant, which means it's plug and play compatible with a wide range of modern media equipment. The transmitter module provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with your remote locations. And the kit includes a set of infrared blasters that will collect up the remote control signals from each of those remote locations and pass those signals back digitally over that LAN connection to the primary location where they're rebroadcast so you can effectively remotely control the content you're watching. And finally, the kit employs the very latest in power over cable technology, which means a single power supply is all you'll need to operate the entire solution because the power required for those remote receivers is sent over that same LAN connection. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter module and the receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions that this product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find a single transmitter and four identical receivers. This is located at the primary site, wherever the media content is you'd like to share, and these are located at the remote locations where you'd like to enjoy that content. You'll find infrared blasters for each of the modules and a single 12 volt, two amp DC power supply. You'll plug this into a standard wall outlet. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the transmitter module and provides all the power required for the entire solution because of that power over cable technology. You'll also find mounting kits for each of these modules that you can use to mount them up off the ground and out of the way. And finally, a full instruction manual is also included that lists connection diagram specifications and a lot of other really good information about this kit that you'll want to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and receiver modules. I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. Inside the kit, you'll find a single sender module and four identical remote receiver modules. The sender module is located at your primary site, wherever the media content is you'd like to share with your four remote locations, and the receiver modules are located at those secondary sites where you'd like to enjoy that content. All of the modules feature full metal enclosures, which make them really durable and a great choice for both residential or even commercial installations. Let's start with the sender module first. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this module up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a reset button. When you add power to the sender module and turn it on, you can hold that button down for a few seconds to reset the module if needed. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to the module and turn it on, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics. Once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know it's ready to use. Finally, to the right of that is a power switch you can use to turn the module on and off. On the rear of the module, starting on the left, you'll find a DC input port. That's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. To the right of that is an infrared out port. It's a three and a half millimeter port that's used with an infrared blaster module. And there are five modules included with the kit. One of them is different, so make sure you plug the correct module into this port. To the right of that are two full-sized HDMI ports labeled HDMI in and loop out. The HDMI in port connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your four remote locations. And this product offers a local loopback functionality which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with your four remote locations. And to take advantage of that feature, you can connect the second HDMI cable from this port to a local monitor to enjoy that content. And finally, to the right of that are four LAN ports labeled output one, two, three, and four. And this is where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable plugs in between the sender module and the remote receivers. The remote receiver module, again, full metal enclosure, 
holes on either side for the bracketing kit. On the one end, you'll find another reset button you can use to reset this module. In the center is a LAN port, and that's where the other end of that CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the sender module plugs in. To the right of that is a power indicator. Now, you don't need power at the remote locations. Because the system uses power over cable technology, the power required for this module is sent over that same LAN cable. So once you add power to the sender module and turn it on and connect this through that LAN connection, power is delivered here, and this starts an internal power on self-test. And when it finishes that, it'll light that LED. So under normal operation, that LED will be on solid. On the rear of the module is a DC input port. And again, because of the power over cable technology, you won't have to use that. To the right of that is a full-sized HDMI port labeled HDMI out. This connects to a local monitor at that remote location that you'd like to use to enjoy the content. And finally, to the right of that is an infrared in port where one of the infrared blasters at the remote location plugs in. And again, just make sure you pick the right infrared blaster to plug into the sender and the receiver modules. The O-Ray UHD14-EX230-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including digital projectors, media players like Apple TV, game consoles, computer systems, and streaming devices. The product's features include full support of 4K media content, it's a splitter and extender combined into a single product, it is both HDMI 2.0 as well as HDCP 2.2 compliant. It provides 230 feet of extension between the primary and secondary location and offers local loopback and includes an infrared blaster kit for complete remote control of your content. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video on this monitor and that's the media content that I'd like to share with my four remote locations. Over here I've set up four monitors. Each of these represents a different remote location where I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary side. And these can be up to 230 feet apart. In front of me I have the transmitter module here and four remote receiver modules here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter and I'll start by disconnecting the media player from the monitor and plugging that HDMI cable into the HDMI input port on the back of the transmitter. And now I can add power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it which plugs directly into the DC input port on the back of the unit. Now one feature this product provides which is really nice is the local loopback function which allows you to continue to enjoy the content at the primary location while you're simultaneously sharing it with your four remote locations. And to take advantage of that you'll need one more HDMI cable which I have right here and you'll plug that into the HDMI output port in the transmitter and the other end of it into a local monitor at the primary side. And that way you can enjoy the content here. Now we're ready to connect the remote receivers up to each of the monitors at those second locations. I've already connected four high-speed HDMI cables up to the monitors. The other end of these plug directly into the HDMI output port on each of the receivers. And it's really important you use a high-quality HDMI cable for all of these connections to ensure the best possible picture downstream. Okay, now that I've got the HDMI output connected, all we need next is the LAN connections between the primary and secondary locations, and those have to be CAT6 or CAT7 cables, and again, they can be up to 230 feet away. I have short CAT6 cables right here that I'll use for those connections, and I'll start by connecting one end to the receiver at each of those locations. And then once I've done that, I can connect the other end to the outputs on the transmitter. Now you'll notice there are no power supplies at any of these remote locations, and that's because this system uses power over cable technology, which means a single power supply plugged in at the primary side is all you'll need for the entire solution. And the reason for that is the power needed for these remote locations is sent over these LAN cables along with the media content, which is pretty incredible. We're all set, now let's turn it on and see what happens. So when you turn the power on, it immediately sends power to all four remote receivers, and both the transmitter and the receiver start a power on self-test. This is looking at the media resolution, these are looking at the resolution of the monitors, and they're making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture downstream. Now it'll take a second for all those adjustments to take place. I wanna make sure these are all plugged in nice and tight. And once we're done with that, there you go. So what you're viewing here 
is HDMI media content from the primary location that's been turned into a signal that can be sent over the LAN cable and then turned back into a signal that can be displayed in an HDMI device. And again, it's incredible that these can be up to 230 feet apart and the only connection for power and media content is a single LAN cable. And it really is just that easy to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray UHD14-EX230-K HDMI splitter and extender kit helpful. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share any HDMI media stream with four remote locations at the same time up to 230 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable to each of those locations. The product fully supports 4K media content, and because it's HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.2 compliant, it'll work great with all of your modern media gear. The transmitter provides local loopback functionality, which allows you to continue to enjoy the content that you're distributing to those four remote locations, and the infrared blaster kits provide complete remote control of the content from those secondary locations. And finally, the power over cable technology greatly simplifies your wiring because a single power supply plugged into the transmitter is all you'll need to operate the entire solution. Everything you need to get started is included, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.